Writing course development for English 116 students. Unit 4. Giving instructions. Unit 4. Giving instructions. Objectives. After completing this unit, students will be able to identify the usage of the base form of a verb and its negative for giving instructions. Learn the usage of correct verb positioning for giving instructions. Make sentences with when clauses and use it for writing paragraphs. We use the base form of verbs for instructions and do not plus the base form of a verb for negative instructions. For example, lift, put, and replace, and do not lift. Look at the table given below to understand. For example, lift the handset. We have the verb lift, and what is the handset? Put the card in the slot. We have the verb put, the what is the card, and where is in the slot. Replace the handset at the end of the call. The verb is replace, and the what is the handset, and when is at the end of the call. Do not remove your card. The verb, remove. Do not remove. This is negative, and the what is your card. Complete the table given below using the words in correct order. As we can see, we have examples A, B, C, and D out of order. Now let's look at the table. For example, in A we have remove the card from your machine. In B, we have collect the money from your tray. And in C, we have do not replace the handset after your first call. Notice this is in the when category. And we have do not remove your slot card from the laptop. This is example D. Now let's take a look at the when clause. Look at the sentence given below. Key in the amount of money when the machine is ready. Here we have two verbs, key in and is. The second verb is in a part of the sentence, called a clause. Which clause? A when clause. We can also write the above sentence as, when the machine is ready, comma, key in the amount of money. Note, we put a comma after the when clause if it comes at the beginning of the sentence. Now, we're going to match these sentences with when clauses on the right. Number one, rewind the cassette when the recording is finished. Replace the handset when your call is over. Dial your number when you hear the dialing tone. Switch off the machine when you have all the copies. Speak into the microphone when you are ready to record. Match the sentences with the when clauses on the right. We've already done this, but let's look it over again. Rewind the cassette when the recording is finished. Now, number one, rewind the cassette when the recording is finished. Please look at the blue letters below. It'll help you learn it better. Now, how do we change this around? When the recording is finished, comma, rewind the cassette. Remember when the when clause goes in position one, a comma separates. Number two, replace the handset when your call is over, or when your call is over, comma, replace the handset. Number three, dial your number when you hear the dialing tone, or when you hear the dialing tone, comma, dial your number. Number four, switch off the machine when you have all the copies, or when you have all the copies, comma, switch off the machine. So you can see we're establishing a pattern here. Number five, speak into the microphone when you are ready to record. When you are ready to record, comma, speak in to the microphone. Complete the paragraph given below with a list of helpful verbs. Put, remove, select, close, lift, switch off, close, switch on, wait, and press. Let's take a look. First, switch on the photocopier and wait for one minute. Lift the cover of the photocopier and put the letter on the glass. Select the number of copies you want, then close the cover and press the start button. When you have finished, remove the letter and the copies from the machine. Finally, close the cover and switch off the machine. Now, what I want you to do, a Unit 4 assignment. Write a paragraph on how to make Kepsa. First, I want you to make the list of ingredients. Then write the steps and finally connect your ideas.